Hello Mrs. Good Morning. What can I do for you? I came to apologize to you for the inconvenience my son caused you yesterday. So, you the mother of the little thug who wanted to annoy one of my clients yesterday? He was very lucky. If it wasn't for God, I would have locked him up. Oh. Madam. I'm really sorry for his behavior. I accept your apology. But if he came back to my store next time, I would not hesitate to call the police on him. I assure you, he will never come back to your house again. He has interest. Thank you so much. Have a nice day, and goodbye. Bye. I'm starting to get tired of you. You need to pull yourself together. Otherwise, I'm not going to defend you anywhere anymore. So mom, did the lady accept your apology? Did she want to forgive me? Don't ask me any questions. Sometimes I wonder why I gave birth to you. You are creating too many problems in my life. All the boys your age are in high school. But you prefer to hang out in the streets. Stop this kind of behavior. Otherwise, you will end your life in prison. Good. Mom, I think I'm going to go back to school next Monday because we have exams to do. Okay, it works. But be careful if you start doing stupid things again in high school. Because I know that you are a disruptive element. Mom, don't worry. I promise you, I will be good. Okay, it works. We'll see you later. How are you, my friend? Great, and you? It's going well, thank you. Are you sure you're okay? Why do you say that? Because I find you a little weird. You see my girlfriend. He's my son. What's wrong with your son? He creates too many problems for me. Oh yeah. I assure you that he tires me all day long with his behavior. I have never seen such a recalcitrant child. He's useless, like his dad. Oh really? He is clumsy and dishonest. You know, last time he went to work in a store. Guess what he did? But what had he done? He had wanted to scam a customer in the store where he worked. By increasing the purchase price of an item by 10. Fortunately his boss had caught him in time. And, I went to apologize to this lady, on her behalf. Yet I kept telling him to behave well. Otherwise he would risk ending his life in prison. He has so many flaws. I'm really starting to get tired of this little boy. Wow, I'm really shocked at everything he's put you through. Courage to you, and hold on, it will certainly work out one day, by the grace of God. Thanks. Good. I'll leave you. All right. See you later. See you later. My heart hurts. How can a mother speak like this about her own child? She's so negative. Instead of being positive and praying for her child, she keeps blaming him. Hello, Mrs. Hello, sir. If I called you in this morning, it was to clarify matters with you regarding your son. What has he done again? This was to tell you that your child will no longer be able to continue his studies in our establishment. Could I know why? He is a student who causes a lot of trouble in his class. He even lacks respect for his teachers. He steals, even the belongings, of his comrades. Almost all students complain about him, his establishment. Some, even parents of students, have complained about his behavior towards their children. As you know, we have just finished the end of year exams. And his grades aren't good at all. Moreover, he was not even admitted. These are the reasons why, next year, he will no longer be able to continue his studies in our establishment. Oh Lord! But what is this child doing to me? Please give him a second chance. I'm sorry, madam. Our decision is irrevocable. That's all I had to tell you. Okay, it works. Good luck to you for the future. Thank you, sir. This is what the director told me about you. Mom, I think this gentleman is jealous of me. Shut up. If you open your mouth again, you'll see what I'm going to do to you. You are a little liar, and also a thief. There is a saying that goes. He who steals an egg today will steal an ox tomorrow. If you don't pull yourself together, you will end your life in prison. It's me who tells you. 
Mom don't say that. Otherwise, it might happen to me. The way you make me suffer today is the same way life will make you suffer tomorrow. Please mom, don't say that. Really sometimes I wonder why I do so much stupid things. To prove my good faith to you, tomorrow I will go look for a job, so that I can make you proud. Okay, we'll see. But who will be able to help me now to find this job? Oh I forgot. I should go see my friend at the park. Hi. Hi. I know you're in the business world. Please, can you help me find a little job? Yes. With pleasure. So my friend. Are you happy with your new job? Yes I am very happy. I just came to say hello. Oh, thank you very much. It was nothing. See you later. See you later. Wow. What a great business day. I sold well. Well, since the boss is away, I think I'm going to lend a little money from the company's coffers to be able to afford certain things. Really my friend, I really enjoyed it. Same as me. The meal was delicious. Okay, shall we go to the cinema? Alright. Thank you for giving me this show. It was nothing. You deserve it. Because it's thanks to you that I was able to get this job. Until 7 o'clock at night, my son has not yet come home. I hope he's not doing any more stupid things. In any case, if he does serious things, he will only end his life in prison. It's been over a month since I last saw this little thug. I entrusted him with my goods, and he sold them without giving me an account. What if I ever found him? I would not hesitate to put him in prison if he did not repay me all of the money he owed me. It's getting late. I'm going home. Oh, it's him. I found him. He's my boss. He found me. And, little thug, you thought you were going to escape me. But today I found you. So I'm going to call the police at the same time. So you're a little thief then? No, Mr. Policeman. Do you dare lie to me? Are you a liar too? Excuse me sir, but I didn't do anything. If you don't tell the truth, you'll die in prison. Please mom, get me out of here. I don't want to stay in prison. Before, I told you that if you didn't know how to do it, you would end your life in prison. Here you are today in a cell. I think it's my mother who's at the root of my misfortunes. She kept telling me that I would end my life in prison. Here I am, exactly in prison as she said. My son has now been behind bars for more than three months. Who can lend me this amount so that I can get my son out? Ah, I'll go see my girlfriend. That's why he went to prison. Oh, I will help you find the amount to repay. Okay. I came to free you. Your mother came to pay the amount you owed your boss. Be careful if you repeat this nonsense again. I promise you, I will never take it again. Thank you aunt, for helping my mother. You're welcome, my boy, so promise me you won't do anything like that again. I promise you, auntie. No more scams. You know, your son promised me that this time, he won't do anything stupid again. I certainly hope so. You know, I'd like to tell you something. But please don't take this the wrong way. Go ahead, I'll listen to you. Do you know that it is you yourself who is at the root of the misfortunes that happened to your son? How so? The last time we saw each other in my store, the words you said about him weren't good at all. I even said to myself, how could a mother speak like this about her own child? Let me tell you, that life and death belong to the power of the tongue. Every time you said negative words about your son, it came true. Don't you see now that this is exactly what happened to him? You called him a liar, a thief, worthless, and dishonest. You even said that if he didn't pull himself together, that he would end his life in prison. 
today. You are amazed that all these things that you declared about the life of your son are accomplished. As parents, we must make the effort to say good words about the lives of our children. If it happens that the child makes mistakes, instead of cursing him, or saying negative things about him, it would be better to keep quiet. However, this is a mistake that many parents make, without realizing it. Really, you're right. Because of anger, I had said a lot of negative words about my son's life, without realizing it. And when these things happened to him, I was the first person to complain about what happened to him. From today, I make the decision to say only positive words about my son's life. If I get angry, I won't speak anymore. You understood everything. My sister, you must now watch over your mouth, so that you no longer make these kinds of mistakes. Yes my sister, and thank you once again for all this advice. Proverbs 18 21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. 1 Peter 3 10 For whoever desires to love life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Proverbs 15 1 A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. If a science for 29 let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. Psalm 141, 3 Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Matthew 12 36-37 I tell you, on the day of judgment people will give account for every careless word they speak, for by words you will be justified, and by words you will be condemned. James 1.26 If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. Proverbs 12.18 There is one whose rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. James 3.8 But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. Proverbs 15.4 A gentle tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. Proverbs 10.19 When words are many, transgression is not lacking, but whoever restrains his lips is prudent. Proverbs 13.3 Whoever guards his mouth preserves his life. He who opens wide his lips comes to ruin. Psalm 19.14 Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. James 3.6 And the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and set on fire by hell. James 1.19 Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. Proverbs 15.28 The heart of the righteous ponders how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil things. Psalm 118, 5 Out of my distress I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. Proverbs 21-23 Whoever keeps his mouth and his tongue keeps himself out of trouble. James 3, 1-18 Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. For we all stumble in many ways. And if anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle his whole body. If we put bits into the mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships also, though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire! Matthew 12:36. I tell you, on the day of judgment people will give account for every careless word they speak. Psalm 34, 13 Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Philippians 2.14 Do all things without grumbling or disputing. Proverbs 15.2 The tongue of the wise commands knowledge, but the mouths of fools pour out folly. Proverbs 25.15 ESV-59 Helpful votes with patience a ruler may be persuaded, and a soft tongue will break a bone. Mark 11.23 Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass it will be done for him. Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. James 3.5-8 So also the tongue is a small member, 
yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire! And the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature, can be tamed and has been tamed by mankind, but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. Proverbs 17:27. Whoever restrains his words has knowledge, and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. Matthew 15:18. But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this defiles a person. Proverbs 11, 9 With his mouth the godless man would destroy his neighbor, but by knowledge the righteous are delivered. Matthew 12, 37 For by words you will be justified, and by words you will be condemned. Romans 10, 9 Because, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Proverbs 18, 7 A fool's mouth is his ruin, and his lips are a snare to his soul. Proverbs 16, 24 Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Leviticus 19, 16 You shall not go around as a slanderer among your people, and you shall not stand up against the life of your neighbor, I am the Lord. If a science 5, for let there be no filthiness nor foolish talk nor crude joking, which are out of place, but instead let there be thanksgiving. Psalm 52, to your tongue plots destruction, like a sharp razor, you worker of deceit. Colossians 3, 8 But now you must put them all away, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. If a science 425 therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Proverbs 2019 Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets. Therefore do not associate with a simple babbler. James 3, 5 So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire. Acts 2, 4 And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Colossians 4, 6 Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. Acts 2, 38 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. James 3, 1-12 Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. For we all stumble in many ways. And if anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle his whole body. If we put bits into the mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships also, though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder, wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire! Proverbs 18, 8 The words of a whisperer are like delicious morsels. They go down into the inner parts of the body. Proverbs 6, 16-17 There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. Psalm 57, For my soul is in the midst of lions. I lie down amid fiery beasts, the children of man, whose teeth are spears and arrows, whose tongues are sharp swords. Proverbs 29, 11 A fool gives full vent to his spirit, but a wise man quietly holds it back. Proverbs 16, 28 A dishonest man spreads strife, and a whisperer separates close friends. Psalm 15, 1-3 Psalm of David. O Lord! Who shall sojourn in your tent? Who shall dwell on your holy hill? He who walks blamelessly and does what is right and speaks truth in his heart? Who does not slander with his tongue and does no evil to his neighbor, nor takes up a reproach against his friend? Proverbs 4.23 Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. 1 John 1, 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Luke 6.45 The good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good, and the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil, for out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. 1 Timothy 3, 1-16 The saying is trustworthy, if anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, 
hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive, for if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? James 3, 2 For we all stumble in many ways. And if anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle his whole body. Proverbs 17, 9 Whoever covers an offense seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates close friends. Proverbs 10, 8 The wise of heart will receive commandments, but a babbling fool will come to ruin. Psalm 101, 5 Whoever slanders his neighbor secretly I will destroy. Whoever has a haughty look and an arrogant heart I will not endure. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Ecclesiastes 3, 7 A time to tear, and a time to sow. A time to keep silence, and a time to speak. Proverbs 31, 26 She opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. Proverbs 29, 20 Do you see a man who is hasty in his words? There is more hope for a fool than for him. Proverbs 6, 1-35 My son, if you have put up security for your neighbor, have given your pledge for a stranger, if you are snared in the words of your mouth, caught in the words of your mouth, then do this, my son, and save yourself, for you have come into the hand of your neighbor. Go, hasten, and plead urgently with your neighbor. Give your eyes no sleep, and your eyelids no slumber. Save yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, like a bird from the hand of the fowler. James 3, 9 With it we bless our Lord and Father, and with it we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. Titus 3, 2 To speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show perfect courtesy toward all people. John 8, 44 You are of your father the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Proverbs 17, 14 The beginning of strife is like letting out water, so quit before the quarrel breaks out. Proverbs 21, 19 It is better to live in a desert land than with a quarrelsome and fretful woman. James 4, 11 Do not speak evil against one another, brothers. The one who speaks against a brother or judges his brother, speaks evil against the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law but a judge. Proverbs 25, 23 The north wind brings forth rain, and a backbiting tongue, angry looks. Proverbs 17, 28 Even a fool who keeps silent is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is deemed intelligent. Proverbs 15, 23 To make an apt answer is a joy to a man, and a word in season, how good it is. Psalm 39, 1 To the choir master, to Jadathan. A Psalm of David. I said, I will guard my ways, that I may not sin with my tongue. I will guard my mouth with a muzzle, so long as the wicked are in my presence. 1 Corinthians 12, 28 And God has appointed in the church first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healing, helping, administrating, and various kinds of tongues. Proverbs 26, 20 For lack of wood the fire goes out, and where there is no whisperer, quarreling ceases. Proverbs 25, 11 A word fightly spoken is like apples of gold in a setting of silver. Proverbs 6, 17 Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. Proverbs 6, 2 If you are snared in the words of your mouth, caught in the words of your mouth, Matthew 15 11, It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but what comes out of the mouth. This defiles a person. 1 Corinthians 14, 1-40 Pursue love, and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. For one who speaks in the tongue speaks not to men but to God. For no one understands him, but he utters mysteries in the spirit. On the other hand, the one who prophesies speaks to people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. The one who speaks in the tongue builds up himself, but the one who prophesies builds up the church. Now I want you all to speak in tongues, but even more to prophecy. The one who prophesies is greater than the one who speaks in tongues, unless someone interprets, so that the church may be built up. Proverbs 25, 18 A man who bears false witness against his neighbor is like a war club, or a sword or a sharp arrow. Proverbs 18 20-21 From the fruit of a man's mouth his stomach is satisfied. He is satisfied by the yield of his lips. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. 
Proverbs 18.20 From the fruit of a man's mouth his stomach is satisfied. He is satisfied by the yield of his lips. Proverbs 17.27-28 Whoever restrains his words has knowledge, and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. Even a fool who keeps silent is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is deemed intelligent. Proverbs 10.20 The tongue of the righteous is choice silver. The heart of the wicked is of little worth. Proverbs 10.11 The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. Mark 11.23-24 Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Proverbs 12.13-14 An evil man is ensnared by the transgression of his lips, but the righteous escapes from trouble. From the fruit of his mouth a man is satisfied with good, and the work of a man's hand comes back to him. Proverbs 11.13 Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets, but he who is trustworthy in spirit keeps a thing covered. Romans 12.14 Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Proverbs 18, for the words of a man's mouth are deep waters. The fountain of wisdom is a bubbling brook. Proverbs 12, 6, the words of the wicked lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright delivers them. Psalm 12, the third to fourth of May, the Lord cut off all flattering lips, the tongue that makes great boasts. Those who say, with our tongue we will prevail, our lips are with us. Who is master over us? James 3, 10, from the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things are not to be so. James 3, 4 Look at the ships also, though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder, wherever the will of the pilot directs. Isaiah 50, For the Lord God has given me the tongue of those who are taught, that I may know how to sustain with the word him who is weary. Morning by morning he awakens. He awakens my ear to hear as those who are taught. Proverbs 10 31 The mouth of the righteous brings forth wisdom but the perverse tongue will be cut off. Revelation 1, 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. Proverbs 28, 23 Whoever rebukes a man will afterward find more favor than he who flatters with his tongue. Romans 12, 14 Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Proverbs 18, For the words of a man's mouth are deep waters, the fountain of wisdom is a bubbling brook. Proverbs 12, 6 The words of the wicked lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright delivers them. Psalm 12, the third to fourth of May the Lord cut off all flattering lips, the tongue that makes great boasts. Those who say, with our tongue we will prevail, our lips are with us. Who is master over us? James 3, 10 From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things are not to be so. James 3, 4 Look at the ships also, though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder, wherever the will of the pilot directs. Isaiah 50, For the Lord God has given me the tongue of those who are taught, that I may know how to sustain with the word him who is weary. Morning by morning he awakens. He awakens my ear to hear as those who are taught. Proverbs 10 31 The mouth of the righteous brings forth wisdom, but the perverse tongue will be cut off. Revelation 1 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. Proverbs 28, 23 Whoever rebukes a man will afterward find more favor than he who flatters with his tongue. Brothers and sisters, that will be all for this video. If you like this video, don't hesitate to like it, comment on it, and share it with those around you, so that people will be saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel, so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. May God bless and protect you. Hello Mrs. Good Morning. What can I do for you? I came to apologize to you for the inconvenience my son caused you yesterday. So, you the mother of the little thug who wanted to 